guys and welcome to Retrobeat. In today's episode, I'm going to be taking a quick look at today's announcement that the A500, the Amiga 500, is going to be released by Retro Games. Now, they've brought out the, um, the Commodore 64 Mini and then um, after that, which didn't impress quite a lot of people because it didn't have a working keyboard, they brought out the Commodore 64 Maxi, which was an absolute godsend. I absolutely love that machine and I think it's superb. Um, so what's happened with the Amiga 500? Well, this was the video that they released today. So take a look. So guys, as you can see by that video um, that was released today from Retro Games, it does look absolutely fantastic. However, for me, um, they went down the same route as what they did when they originally done the Commodore 64, which was to bring out the Mini with a non-working keyboard. Now, for me, that is a little bit disappointing because the difference between the Mini uh, and the Maxi that I use is just a complete world of difference. Um, any games that had like any sort of keyboard input um, on the Commodore 64 Mini was just a huge pain in the arse unless you had a USB keyboard plugged in, which is just not great. Now I appreciate on the uh, on the Amiga 500 version that, um, well, one, the computer was massive. So, you know, that, that was just the way it was. So they probably want to make a, a more condensed version of it. Um, but it hasn't got a working keyboard. Now you could use the mouse um, and bring up a, like a keyboard um, on the screen. Um, yeah, you can get around it like that, or probably plug in a USB mouse. But like, if it was because of the size, because the the, the the original console was so big, why did why didn't they just do like the Amiga 500? That was quite a quite a small size. That I didn't, you know, they got rid of the numeric keypad, which you didn't need anyway. But for me, um, yeah, the lack of of keyboard probably won't get me away from using the original Amiga 1200 for the time being. Anyway, one thing to note is that um, on the Amiga 500. Um, the one that's coming out from uh, Retro Games, um, it does support the uh, advanced, um, like the, the AGA uh, graphics that the, that the Amiga 1200 um, and the Amiga CD32 um, both use. So that is a really good thing, but for me personally, I'm probably going to leave it until um, they bring out the next version that's got, um, that's got a working keyboard before I can retire my uh, Amiga 1200. That's if it ever retires, because at the end of the day, we love these discs, right? Even if half of them don't work. So guys, that's my thoughts on um, the Amiga 500 release um, and the, the press release that was uh, that came out today. Uh, what's your thoughts? Are you gonna be buying the uh, Amiga 500 or are you just gonna stick with the original hardware for now? Let me know in the comments below, guys. And until next time, goodbye.